Hi everybody, welcome back to science. So for the next few days we're going to be talking about observation. And you just saw a video that talked about observation, and together we learned that that means when you take a really careful look at something, and you also use your five senses, which are sight, when you look at something, smell, when you see what something smells like, taste, hearing, and touch. But when you're at home, can you use all of your five senses for all the plants? Kind of tough through the computer, I think. But you're going to be able to have a chance to look really carefully with your eyes and notice what you can see. So for an example, I have this cactus that I have at my house. So I'm going to just use my eyes to think about what can I notice about this cactus? So if I'm looking really carefully, I see that this cactus is green. I'm noticing that it has a lot of different spikes on the outside to protect it. I'm noticing that there's only one cactus here, because if there was many, there'd be cacti, there'd be a lot. And I notice that it goes straight up. And oh, now that I'm looking really carefully, I can see that there's even some on the top, all the way close. And now I'm noticing that there's actually one, three different tones of green, like shades. So there's a really dark green, that's kind of the color of the pot, and then I notice there's a little bit of a lighter color, and even a lighter one than that. So there's many different colors that are in this cactus. And again, the spikes on the outside are a kind of yellow, brown color. And I see that the cactus also is darker at the bottom. And another thing I could do is I could use a ruler and I could measure how tall it is. So some people might have a, an observation that goes about numbers, like they could measure it or count how many spikes or something that they would see. Or if you're talking about the plants, how many leaves. Or some people like to draw and they can add all the details with their drawing. Or some people really love to use their words. So then you could also write down very carefully all the different things that you see. So we're going to just take a look at um, two of the plants today. We're going to look at the wheat and the alfalfa. So I'm going to take some uh, pictures of these two so then you can have a really good look at them. And I'm also going to take a little video of it so that you can see it from all sides and so that you can have a careful look maybe underneath and see on the sides so then you get a good look all around. All right, so I'm looking forward to see what everybody is going to start observing. See you soon. Here's the alfalfa. If you want to take a closer look, you can pause it. And now we have wheat to take a look at. Again, you can pause the video if you need to.
If you'd like to see some more pictures, you can go to the Google assignment.